Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day 12 of the Lico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm. <clears throat> uh, no updates on the foot, it still hurts. I'm walking a little bit better, but I mean, you know, it is what it is. Uh, 20, so that's just gonna be my update for today. Uh, we have 2342, maximum of a pair with equal sum of digits. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, da, 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 positive integer to index C's I is not equal to J and the sum of digits I is equal to sum of J. We turn the maximum value of da, 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 such that they have the same digits, uh, same sum of digits, right? Um, I mean, I think you could do this in pretty greedy, right? Um, basically, you want to match all the numbers where the sum of the digits, well, first you group them together by the sum of the digits, and then for each group, you just uh, take the two biggest number, and then that's it, right? The summing part, the greedy summing part, I think that makes sense, right? Um, you can think of it in any number of ways, but it's just, you know, uh, without that condition, you could prove that very trivially, and then you can prove it with the condition of uh, this sum digit thing, right? So yeah, um, I don't really have much to say, so let's, uh, you know, let's do it, right? So maybe we have like a frequency, as you, um, maybe just like, a, what naming things is so hard, what I wanted to call it. I don't know. Let's just say uh, we and you, technically speaking, you don't even need um, yeah, I think you could even be a little bit smarter than that. I was going to say, okay, so what I was going to do is that you can do like uh, we of uh, I don't know, what's it called? Digit sum of x dot append x, right? And then at the end, we could do like for q and da 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 da, right? We could do we of k dot sort. Um, maybe not even dot, I mean, you could do t sort obviously, but you can also just do like the max and the second max, and that's fine too. But I'm just gonna write this because it's a little bit shorter. And then you have uh, do da 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 da, uh, oh, sorry. The, the biggest number and the second biggest number, as long as it is bigger than, um, is great and you go to one then we continue right we skip it if it's not then now we have you know some idea of the best answer can it be negative no so we can so zero is fine right uh da, 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 da. uh except for that if there are no two numbers you actually want to return negative one so this should be negative one right so this will oh i have to actually implement this but otherwise this should be mostly good right uh And you can write this in a number of ways. Maybe you even convert it to a string if you like, but I don't know. Uh, this doesn't really matter, right? Just, just get one digit at a time, and then you shift, right? Shift and... What is that called? Shift and get or something? Uh, pretty pretty straightforward, pretty okay, right? Uh, yeah. But, but uh, what I was going to say is that you can actually play around with this as well, right? Um, because, for example, um, looking at all this, you actually don't really need all this sorting and all these fancy stuff. You really only, f for one, for every digit, you only really care about the last digit, or sorry, the biggest digit that it was done before, right? And th this idea for this one, I think it's easy to understand and easy to get, right? Because as you scan number from number, you look at the previous digit sum, that or this previous uh, number that's the... the, the uh, Previous number with the same digit sum, then the biggest of all those numbers, right? Because in a greedy way, you want to match this current number with the biggest number. So you can even think about something like, um, uh, something like that, right? And then maybe D is equal to this, so that we don't, right? And then, uh, yeah, maybe we could use like a, uh, default thing. Just default zero. I know that you could do this with counter, but counter actually comes with other stuff and um, like not semantics, but the other thing like like some. I guess it is semantics. Semantically, it just feels a little bit awkward because you're not really counting it per se. But basically, the idea here is that okay, then now uh, best is you go to max best of the what, what's. Mm, I guess actually this can have an issue. So actually, maybe I shouldn't do it this way because of the uh, the negative one case. So I'm wrong on that actually. Okay, so if D is in V, then we can just say do, 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 best is equal to D of V, or V of D, whoops, plus X, right? 
and then v of d is equal to max v of d and then x because now you, you update this with the last biggest value and i say v because of value i think hmm. um yeah and then else if it's not then just set v of d is equal to uh, x because that's just by the default move uh yeah and then maybe you could even write it that way then eh, no i think this is actually more tighter and that's it you don't even need all this because you only because there were only two cases, right? Um, uh, yeah, if if uh, this is the max, then the number that you're going to get to it is, um, then you're basically looping on a second max, and then that's going to give you the answer. Or the other way is if um, if the second max is here, that means that one of the numbers is going to be your max. So uh, before updating here, right? So yeah, so those are the cases, right? So I just want to kind of, though apparently it is slower, I suppose. I, actually, why is that? Maybe it's because the two max functions are somewhere like that. I don't know. Sorting is also very fast in Python, so mm, I actually got a little bit surprised. Mm. But, I mean, I don't know. It's not, not that big of a di difference. But, but yeah, but I think this idea, though, is a little bit more useful in harder or more difficult problems just because you have this idea of, like, you know, reducing it and optimizing it in a way such that you get greedy on the on the stuff that you've seen before on a on what I call a contribution problem, which is that uh, for each number, what is its contribution to the thing, right? And this is how you do it. Uh, yeah, uh, that is all I have for this one. This is uh, linear time, um, linear space because of this free. Um, yeah, you could also say maybe it's linear as in O times O of n times d, where d is the size of the biggest number or not the number of bits of the size of the biggest number if you want to be more precise and you should be want to be more precise i was just wrong uh but yeah uh that is all i have with this one let me know what you think thanks for watching stay good stay healthy to your mental health stay safe everybody i'll see you out later and take care bye bye